Hello everyone, welcome to One Life Investments YouTube channel, your one-stop shop for beginner-friendly crypto content, guides and latest alpha on different altcoins. In this video, I'll guide you how to load funds to Arbitrum to use the dApps that have been deployed on Arbitrum mainnet. So let's get started. Before jumping in the video, a quick disclaimer that I'm not a financial advisor and you should not take anything that is mentioned in this video or the whole YouTube channel as any kinds of financial advice. Always do your own research before investing or using any protocols or services. Just a quick side note that I will not be committing any transactions but you can follow along with the tutorial and I can promise that at the end of the video you'll understand the process on how you can send assets to Arbitrum from a bridge, from a central exchange or anything for that matter. So now moving into the tutorial, there's two ways you can transfer assets or send fund to Arbitrum. One is using a bridge and second is using a centralized exchanges that allow or have a ramp service for Arbitrum. So if you go to portal.arbitrum.1, it lists all the dApps that have been deployed on Arbitrum or are working to be deployed on Arbitrum. As you can see, the ones that are active at the moment will have a live on the top left corner of their card and the ones that are being built or are being deployed currently will not have anything mentioned or have anything on them. All right, so in which cases would you use a bridge and in which case you would use a centralized exchange? So if you have a MetaMask wallet or you if you have any other self-custody wallet, for example, Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, or any other wallet where you hold the keys to your wallet, then you should use a bridge. The only option you have is to use a bridge to bridge your asset from any network that you hold the asset on, for example, BNB, Ethereum, Solana, or any other blockchain to Arbitrum using that bridge. And if you have assets or some ETH or any other assets on, for, say, for example, Binance, you have it in Hobi, or you have it in Bybit, FTX, and other centralized exchanges, for example, KuCoin, MEXC, Hobi, then you can use those exchanges to send fund directly to your Arbitrum wallet. So which bridge do I suggest? I suggest you to use any bridge that has been around for a very long time and is being used by a lot of people. For example, if you go to again portal.arbitrum.1, select bridges and on ramps, you will see different across any swap. Bankster, you will see Hop protocol, you will see Synapsis, Stargate as well. You can use any, right? So I would definitely use Synapsis protocol since Synapsis has good reputation. Or you can also use Hop protocol, which has also has a very good reputation. I'm just gonna use couple. And since I said that I'm not gonna commit to any transactions, you won't see me confirming anything, but you can just follow along, right? And when you are sending fund to Arbitrum, I always suggest everyone to send Ethereum instead of any other asset. Why do I say that is once you send your fund to Arbitrum and if it's your first time, right? If it's not your first time, it's okay. You can send any asset that you prefer. But if it's your first time you are sending to Arbitrum and you don't have any Ethereum on the Arbitrum side, then you won't be able to carry out any transactions because you, you have to pay for the transaction fees using Ethereum. The same way on Metis, you use Metis to pay for the transaction fees. On Arbitrum, you use ETH. And unfortunately, there is no faucet that will give you some transaction fees worth of asset or ETH. So you'll have to, so that's why I suggest you send ETH directly and then convert that ETH to any other asset that you prefer to transact with. But doing this, you will save yourself a lot of time, money and trouble instead of sending any other asset. So for example, Hop Protocol, I have a dedicated video on Hop Protocol as well if you wanna watch that on our channel. And there might be an airdrop in the future as well for Hop Protocol. So I suggest you use Hop Protocol to transfer and also provide liquidity as well. So you go to Hop Protocol, you wanna send ETH, right? So at the moment I am connected to my my MetaMask and you select network for example if I'm trying to send it from a mainnet then I'll send it select mainnet and select Arbitrum and I'm going to select max and then I'm seeing send option but if it's your first time you'll have to approve the token first and then you'll be able to send it click and send click and send and then you 
confirm the transaction then the transaction will go through and you will receive your ETH that was on mainnet on Arbitrum right same thing for synapses you go connect your wallet I'm going to Ethereum at the moment you select your asset from ETH you sending ETH to Arbitrum you enter your amount you approve the asset into the amount click on bridge token and then you just commit and then you pay the transaction fee and then you uh, send it over to Arbitrum. That's how you can use a bridge to load funds to Arbitrum using a bridge. Stargate is fairly new. I would definitely say be a bit cautious if you are moving huge amount of funds from Stargate. Even though the tech looks fantastic, you never know what might happen on the back end, right? So go with the safer ones. But if you want to try Stargate, then definitely try and use Stargate. I'm working on another video dedicated on how to use Stargate and how to farm on Stargate and all that stuff. So please leave a like if you'd like me to push that video anytime soon and also leave a comment. Now, moving on, um, if you want to use any centralized exchanges, you can use Binance, you can use Bybit, Hobi, there's different options. So how to load funds to Arbitrum from Binance or how to send assets from Binance to Arbitrum. So you log into your Binance account, you go withdraw and then you go withdraw crypto and that's fine yeah, and then you go select eth all right into your address what you do is copy and paste your metamask address under network select arbitrum as you can see it's 90 cents it's so cheap click that and then enter the amount the amount of eth you'd like to withdraw or send from binance to arbitrum and once you enter that click on withdraw you confirm all the information and then you will receive your Ethereum on Arbitrum 1 network in a few minutes. All right, so that's how you can load funds to Arbitrum using a bridge. If you are using a self-custody wallet and have assets on the wallet and also the centralized exchange, for example, Binance, KuCoin, Huobi, if you have assets on the centralized exchanges and actually is cheaper than using other bridges. All right, so check out other crypto videos from the channel. And if you're not following me on Twitter, it's One Life Investment and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and take care.